Now, on ice road truckers. This weather's killing us. A wild weather roller coaster. Don't slide, don't slide, don't slide. Wreaks havoc on the winter roads. And every turn. I'm getting the from being enemy here. <laughs> that is so scary! Finds a new terror. Could be worse, but it ain't good. The city of Winnipeg is famous for its frosty Februaries. The average high is only 17 degrees. This year is different. It's terrible. Usually there's yard snow and ice, and I mean, we're, we're walking through mud. We're not even at what should be the halfway point of the season. The thermostat surged upward, and after three days of record highs, Business is at a standstill for polar owner Mark Kahekowicz. I've never seen anything like it. It's just, it's, it's so frustrating. I'm falling further and further behind. We've got contracts ready to go. I got loads piling up. The drivers are stranded, waiting for the roads to open. This weather's killing us. All across Canada, the stunning rise in temperatures has caused something unheard of at this time of year the complete closure of the winter road system, leaving the ice road truckers in a holding pattern. Roads ain't open, nothing I can do. I'm not up here away from my, my family and my kids for a good time. I'm up here to make some money and get the goods into the community, so when I'm sitting here with nothing to do, it's not a good thing. I just hope to get trucking soon. Thank you very much. Have catsup? Right on, my friend. Everything good? Everything is great. Thank, thank you. I've been here all day long. The roads are closed. So my plan is to just see what happens, eh? Well, now, isn't this nice? I ordered a hot turkey sandwich. I'm trying to eat sophisticated here, bye. The last thing I need is this. I got a kid at home with a sitter. He's got some clothes to take, man. Like, the season's short. Like, I want to get there and get it done. Nobody's getting a paycheck. I got my kid counting on me, and I'm going nowhere. It just doesn't work. As day turns to night, winter returns. 680 CJOB, The Shadow Davis Show, it's 608. Minus 20 is the high today. I don't normally say this when a cold snap comes, but it's good news. The uh, cold temperatures are back. The ice roads are going to be reopening. No, we can get those in. That road just opened up, and uh, we're ready to rock and roll. The weather's turned, and we need to take advantage of this. Bye-bye. These roads are open. It's now or never. we got to get this done. Time is money. we got to move. <laughs> Fuller's troops begin hitting the ground. And 350 miles north, Steph is getting a welcome wake-up call. Hello. Steph, it's Mark here, Fuller. Uh, yeah. That road just opened up, and we're ready to rock and roll. All right, I'll get up. I'm fine. All righty. Perfect. Yeah, bye. The young driver has her first real load of the season. Now it's time for her to prove her worth. Yeah, I'm ready to get going. Hit the roads. Steph's headed over 400 miles north to the isolated village of Summer Beaver, loaded with housing supplies needed by the tiny community. That was pretty sick. 
but the newly reopened trail is slippery from the recent melt. And Steph is the first to test it. It's pretty quiet on the radio tonight, too. There's no other trucker over here. It's just me in this bush. No one else is over here. If I get hurt, if I crash, it's all on me at this point as a driver. So I got to make sure I get there in one piece and I get out in one piece because ain't nobody taking care of me if I don't. As the sun rises over Ontario, 45 miles away in Pickle Lake, Gonna be a good day today, boys. Hot meal, good breakfast, some coffee, and ready to roll. Todd's route to Muskrat Dam has been reopened. We're not being able to get them all their supplies in on a full load. We're having to use these half loads. But because of the volatile weather, the load weight is limited. Got some roofing shingles. Headed in on one of the only roads that's open. God damn, here we come. Todd's journey will cover 250 miles to Muskrat Dam over beat up roads and a newly opened seven mile ice crossing. Here we are, back on the winter road. Hard on the truck, hard on your body. Only 25 miles in, Ragged Winter Road is already living up to expectations. No slide, don't no slide. This son of a bitch in road is slick. The big melt followed by a quick freeze is the perfect recipe for slippery roads. The lighter the load you have on, you don't get as much traction. You don't have as much gravity pulling you down, causing you to get more traction. And carrying a light load only makes it worse. Don't slide, don't slide, don't slide. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Son of a bitch, it's all over the place. There's coming back straight. Son of a bitch, man. biggest thing you worry about is not coming home to see your family. It's like, okay, we need to slow down just a little bit and maybe put a little bit more thought about what we're doing just to make sure that I'm a little bit more safer because you'd never know. You don't ever want to get too comfortable where you're just like, oh, who cares? You don't want to ever be like that. You want to keep your guard up. So I'm just going to take it slow and steady. This might be the last trip. That's one thing about the winter roads. You got to treat every trip as if it's your last one, because you know what? In all actuality, it could be your last one. As Polar's top dog eases on toward Muskrat Dam, 200 miles to the northeast, sideways in a road or down through the bottom of the lake. Lisa Kelly is back on the road after being shut down by the heat wave. I am hauling a trailer load of stuff to Shumatawa for the RCMP. Has been warm, but it's cold now. So we just got to keep running it until we can get our stuff delivered. But this haul to the Royal Canadian Mounted Police Outpost isn't for her company. It's a load for her competition. My luck sucks. And I have to work really hard paying Mark back and hopefully keep this train running. Two weeks ago. Oh no, oh, I'm gonna jack. Lisa jackknifed her truck, causing over $10,000 worth of damage. 
I need money to fix the truck, and I need the truck to make money. Yeah. And lacking the capital to fix her rig, she cut a deal with her former employer, Mark Gehekowicz. Let's see if we can get this truck fixed up for you quick here, and let's roll. I would appreciate that so much. You okay. have no idea. So now that my truck's fixed, I need to do some work and get them paid back and then start making a profit. Lisa's hauling loads for Polar until her debt is paid off. I needed Mark's help. I really did. I just believe in working hard for it. So I have to go join up with Polar for the time being. But her first hurdle on the road to Shamatawa is just ahead. Ugh, here comes a big one. A 13-mile ice crossing. This lake crossing is especially vulnerable after refreezing following a thaw. I'm just pulling up to the ice. This is a really big lake. If I can not fall through the ice, I think I'm going to be doing pretty good. Go down and check this out. Kind of a long, steep way down here, huh? If the newly opened ice crossing wasn't perilous enough. Oh, this is so slick. Lisa also has the easer rig down a steep slope to the lake and hope the ice can handle the impact. Can't really see through to see how thick it is or anything. Let's give her a go. Here we go. Let's see how this goes. Oh, no. Whoa. Slippery. Very, very slippery. Angle the truck, force of load. Physics will kick in and drive me through the ice. Ooh, what the f is that? Oh, f that is so scary! Ah, oh, right. Lisa's rig is still on the top side of the ice. I'm not here to, like, tiptoe around. This is their high-risk short season, so I'm out here getting her done. But the veteran driver still has to cover 13 grueling miles of heat battered ice. Not in Kansas anymore. Definitely makes its noises. Ooh, that was a good one. See, that crack there looks fresh. Back on solid ground, Lisa safely arrives at her destination. All right, I'm just getting into Shumatawa here. The northernmost outpost of the Royal Canadian Mounted Police. I have arrived. So I got your stuff all delivered for you. I very much appreciate it. You're it's welcome. Great. A lot of stuff got nine new members basically moving in oh, right away really? so wow. the guys can't wait to get their new beds <laughs> and then the school is going to be happy because we got some of their stuff for the breakfast program wow lisa may have made quick work of this haul but still in debt to her competitor she'll need to turn and burn back to polar for another one away we go while Lisa charges back to Winnipeg. 230 miles away, 
Yeah, I'm heading into Muskrat Dam here. I got half a load of building supplies, because the road and the, and the ice up here is not that good, so I got to go in here really light. Art Burke's also looking to take advantage of the reopened roads. I heard this was this morning. Well, like everything else, I make my own opinion of things, eh? It's not that bad. I mean, I've been on worse, even though you get, I'm getting the from being hit in me here. But the rough ride isn't slowing Art down. I've been on way worse than this, so this is okay. We're gonna get in here today and get this off, hopefully. And get the back out of here and get another one. Time is getting short, man. Now we're down to half loads. And that's not good. So the reality of this is it's got to make two trips in here to get one good load in. There's not a lot of time here for the dog, eh? We got to keep rolling, buddy. The crew's in here pretty good. Now, what the is going on here? Well, we got a guy ahead of us here. He's slowing everything the f up now. Not every trucker shares Art's philosophy on how to drive. Going disgustingly and slow. So now I'm day. Eh? And this is exactly what I don't like. Somebody gets in front of me, I can't pass them, and I gotta drive their speed. You gotta copy, buddy? You gotta copy, buddy. Well, he's either deaf as a fing haddock or something. Maybe he hasn't got his radio on. They stopped right ahead of us here. I don't know what the f he's not stuck or nothing like this. Holy smoking. Oh my god, my god, my god. If they stop to piss them dogs. Like this is not cool, eh? Take your time, buddy. Come on, for sake. Well, there he goes now, eh? This is why I don't like getting behind people, eh? Now, we're officially off from Muskrat Dam. And we're in, he's going like two slow for me. We got a good three hours behind him left. Oh wait, now there's another one. Now what the is going on here? Now we're stopped here again. We're yakking now. We all set there, boys? Oh, my God. There's one show after another. We'll be here all damn day. Beam me. Okay, where we go. Oh, there's an open. Are we good? Are we good? We're good, buddy. He's on your bike. Well, they're gonna slow down and let me through, man. That's good. That's fantastic. Thank you. All right, bye. We're back to business again. Smiles again. Now we got to kick ass more than we did in the beginning. So hammer down.
on the ravaged winter roads of Ontario. I'm just taking it nice and slow and nice and easy. There's no reason to get a big rush on it. You're gonna break the truck, bottom line. I'd rather get the load there in one piece, my truck in one piece, and not make it there at all. With the winter road still reeling from a recent melt, Todd Dewey's banking on a slow and steady strategy to deliver him safely to Muskrat Dam. This road's in rough shape. And I'm sure it had to do with all that warm weather that we had. That's what warmed this road up and damaged it. Hold on. Looks like I got somebody just flying up on my ass. Whoever it is, they're driving like a frickin' madman. They're just gonna have to sit back there because I'm not gonna let anybody rush me on the road. Oh, well, he's getting to be right up on my ass, too, with me. Hey, who do I got behind me there? You've gotta be kidding me. Is that you, Art? Holy f***, Mike. Is that you ahead of me, Mike, f***ing everything up? Something wrong with the fuel in that, or you got water in the line, or what? Holy smokes, I was thinking, who in the hell is the hot rod behind me coming up on my ass so quick? Hey, when he curses, this f***ing road's beating the out of me. I don't want to break my truck. Not much of a truck anyway, but walk and look at it. <laughs> What is it, a five-speed? <laughs> Where are you headed, buddy? I'm heading to Muskrat Dam. That's the same place I'm at, buddy, Muskrat Dam. You betcha. Yeah, I got I got a van here. It's only like, just like half, half full. The roads are not the best, eh? Uh, they're not. I guess it's one of the only few roads that's that's uh, letting people run half loads in, huh? I guess so, yeah. But how bad these roads are, it's nice to have a little backup. Yeah, it's all right, bud. This and this is just fabulous. I am glad I caught you. I I am. Going too slow, bud. Take I want to roll here. Sounds like Art's a little frustrated. These two drivers may play for the same team, but not by the same rules. I like just running by myself, eh? And then I can kick an ass. But there's nothing I can do now. Away we go again, eh? While the Winter Road's odd couple pushes on, 100 miles to the southeast. I think I just got to prove I can do it on my own and just use common sense and skill. Steph's tackling her first real haul of the season, a load destined for summer beaver. Whoa. I mean, it's really slick and icy and bumpy, but I'm almost there. I just want to get my job done and go home to my son, so I'm going to do what I can to get there as fast as I can, doing my job properly and not breaking anything, hopefully. But wild swings in temperature have left the road dangerously slick. The colder ice is, the more grippy it gets because all the moisture in it just dries and freezes. But then when it gets hotter, we got water and ice, so it just creates a lot of ice. Just have to see how this goes. The young gun will have to strike a balance between speed and safety. I haven't seen any trucks on this road. If she plans to survive this stretch of road. It's been really hard to kind of keep my trailer straight. It's been sketchy in some corners for sure. I almost ditched it a couple times. But... I can't keep everything on the road. 
Shiny side up. Deep in northern Ontario. Steph's chance to prove her worth the polar is sliding out of control. I'm in the ditch. The 23 year old's rig is locked in the icy grip of a snowbank. I'm, I'm going to try to walk out of this. On a road this remote. Steph is completely on her own. I'm in the trees, and I'm in the snow bank. Mark is not gonna be happy about this. Could be worse, but it ain't good. They've been waiting for this stuff for months, and I'm putting more time on that waiting list. I haven't heard any other trucker out here yet that could help me. I'm completely alone out here. So the only thing left to do is start shoveling. <laughs> As Steph shovels away into the night, 150 miles away, we're still rolling here. I'm behind Todd. And we took a bad kick in coming in here, man. This road was rough as a bastard. Still is, obviously. Art and Todd have clawed their way over 240 miles of wasted winter roads to Muskrat Dam. How far do you think this ice crust is, old son? Looks like this is it, right here in front of me. They've now made it to their last hurdle. The frozen surface of Muskrat Dam Lake. The you always know, cross it here is the reason they were hauling half loads, eh? They always caught out and then froze. But I hear it's not good. I'm gonna stop right here, buddy. After unseasonably high temperatures weaken the ice, the crossing has just reopened. But trucks are restricted to half loads because the ice may be too fragile for fully loaded rigs. What's going on over here? Looking a little rough. She's looking a little rough, that's right. When you're going out there and you're walking onto the ice, the first thing I honestly do is I say a little prayer to the good Lord. 
and just say, if anything happens, take care of my family, take care of my wife and my kids. She doesn't look pretty. No, that's for sure. When you start feeling you're getting scared, that's a good thing, man, because you're just tuning into what's going on around here, eh? You want me to go first? I'll let you if that's what you want to do. I'll go first. Fear is a positive thing. I don't know if that makes sense to a normal person, but to me, it does. Well, we're getting out of here, buddy. You guess we're going to do what we came here to do, right? I'm going first, boys. Let's get at it. Art and Todd's strategy is to minimize stress on the ice by crossing separately. You know, the bad thing about having somebody else go in front of you is then it possibly weakens up the ice for when the second truck goes on it. Todd's a little nervous. I'm just not feeling it. The way this is tracking the bottom, man, I can understand why we don't got a full load on this. Hey, Art, how's it going out there, buddy? What's that ice down on my partner? A lot of cracking going on, buddy. A lot of cracking going on. That makes a guy a little bit nervous. I'll wait till I can't see your tail lights anymore and I'll roll out. Okay. It's not crackling, no splash yet, buddy. Here I come, buddy. Okay. Turn them back now. Boy, I wasn't kidding. This it is popping. Holy smokes. We're sitting over 300 feet of water right now, and you're only sitting on 24 inches ice. It's a half load, but we still weigh 60,000 pounds. And it's cracking and it's popping. Whoa, 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 whoa. In the pitch black of night on Muskrat Dam Lake. A lot of cracking going on. We're sitting over 300 feet of water right now, and you're only sitting on 24 inches ice. Art and Todd are on very thin ice. And it's cracking and it's popping. Whoa, 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 whoa. Holy did you feel that? Holy smokes, Art, you were right about the popping noises. That is loud, son of a bitch. Wow. Yeah, pretty nuts, eh? Yeah, that's why they're having us run the half loads, buddy. It's way too thin to even begin to even put a heavy load on it. The whole object of this is not the free thing. It's just to go along here calmly and keep your head together. It's just hard to believe that your life could be over in a split second. No, I got about 200 yards to go, buddy. You know it's over cracking, I'll tell you that. All right, guys. I'm off the 
nice, buddy. I'm coming behind you. Come on, baby. A little bit farther. Just about there, boys. That's it. We made it. We're off the ice. I'm off the ice, Art. I made it, buddy. Right on, my son. Good show. Glad. Safely across the ice. Into the community of Muskrat Dam, buddy. The unlikely convoy has arrived. Mission accomplished! Yeah, baby. How you doing, boy? Hey, buddy! I made her, eh? Hey, we did. Yeah, damn right we did, buddy. I got stuck behind Todd, but it turned out all right. He wasn't too happy with how slow I was driving at first, but you know what? He got over it. They may differ in their driving philosophies, but their combined half loads add up to a complete haul for Polar. All right, buddy. We'll see you. We'll see you in the morning. Oh, yeah. Take care. Good, buddy. Hey, thanks for traveling with me, boy. Anytime, Most Mark. people, most people want. <laughs> <laughs> Two hundred miles away, in distant northern Ontario, there's no other truckers on this road. I'm completely alone. So, yeah, I'm just trying to figure out what the hell I got to do. Mark has entrusted Steph with her first real delivery of the season, but the success of the mission is in jeopardy. I got to move a little bit, like two feet, and then I hung up again. I'm almost there if I can get my drive tires just over here, but it's so it's like it's ice here. I'm just digging a hole. After multiple attempts to dig her tires free, even with tire chains added for traction, the truck has barely moved. But yeah, I'm gonna try one more time to back it up, I guess. This isn't gonna work. In remote northern Ontario. Any truckers close by? Eight hours into her ordeal. This isn't gonna work. Steph is running out of ideas. No one's going to be by for a long time. But she still has one secret weapon. I'm going to try one more time. Sheer determination. I moved a little bit, but I'm hung up again. So I'm hoping I can just Take it out a bit more. Let me just do this. She shoveled the snow around her drive tires, but her repeated efforts to rock the truck free have caused the wheels to dig even deeper into the ice. Uh, it's very frustrating. So it's time to 
dig even more. Pray to God, this works. hours after road conditions put her in the ditch. Steph's first real haul of the season is rolling again. I lost a lot of time. Spent all day in it. And uh, yeah, now I'm on my way to Summer Beaver to make my delivery. Seven hours later, the sun rises on a new day. Steph's determination pays off. These people have been waiting way too long for this time. As she arrives at her destination. I present you Summer Beavers. First load. An ice road trucker. Wow. This ice is Should see, man. Sorry about you, man. The son of a legend comes back to drive in his father's tracks. And Polar's huge payday. It's the first of its kind, and we're going to get this in. Oh, my God. Might be too big. You think she's got this? Coming into the bridge is pretty hairy. Oh, my God. For this road.